Scott Barnes, professional makeup artist who has clients like JLo and Celine Dion, has recently uploaded a video where he was giving us this great under eye hack where he used lip balm. Yes, you heard me, lip balm. This has actually gone viral and I wanted to see if it actually worked. The lip balm we're using is the Aquaphor, so join me and we will see if this little hack works. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning viewer, it's really good to have you back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic is a hack by Scott Barnes, professional makeup artist. He is well versed dealing with mature skin, mature ladies, and knows exactly what works for us. On this particular photo shoot, he was using Mark Trainer tape and he also used the Maybelline Stay Perfect Foundation Powder. Now, I am not going to recreate that whole photo shoot. I am unable to use the tinted foundation powder. My skin really doesn't like it. So we're going to use the Aquaphor. In the UK, this comes not as a stick, but as a little paste, like so and really has some good ingredients in there. On the folds here, the creases under your nose, we will use the stick. Now this stick is not called Aquaphor, it is just Eucharin's lip balm. Again, there's some really good ingredients in there, like the shea butter and the oils. So join me in a minute without any makeup on and we will start the process. The eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that I've got a broken nail. It came off two weeks ago and now it's growing happily on its own. But there's no plaster on it because I need to use it. Let's put on some foundation. And the foundation I'm going to use today is the one that we filmed last week, which is the Tear Tear. And you really only need a little. So there you go, that's all I'm going to use. Now I know that this does conceal. So. I'm already on a good starting point, so it already covers and conceals the fine lines and wrinkles. But we could always do with a little more help. As I mentioned previously, I am quite optimistic that it will work because it has some really good ingredients in there. It has jojoba oil. It also has wax, which is the great thing for filling the creases and fine lines. I'm going to apply the stick around my lips as I have fine lines there. Now, I do have a really great product, uh, Trini Miracle Blur, and that really fills in the creases there on my 11 o'clocks, brilliant. But I'm very interested to try the Aquaphor as it is considerably cheaper. This I purchased from Amazon. I will add the details below, not just of the Aquaphor, but of all the other products that I use. There may be some affiliate links attached, which means if you click and buy, I will receive a teeny tiny commission, for which thank you. Let's carry on. It's certainly gonna fill in the creases, and that's the idea. I'm gonna take it up there as well. There we go. So the foundation that I applied was the tear tear and I did a review of this last week and this is in the shade of sand and the concealer that I'm going to use is Trini's BFF serum so it's like a serum concealer why I like this is because it's very good at concealing the fine lines and wrinkles in its own right so this is going to have a bit of a double down effect this is also really good for concealing the dark circles using the Aquaphor has made it very spreadable so I didn't need as much so tip there don't use as much as you would normally I like to use my finger many of you will like the concealer brush the one that I have is this and you can dab that out as well I will apply the rest of my makeup and come back to camera the makeup that I've applied, I applied Gel Bronzer, which is a Trini product. The blusher that I used is the Super Cheap from Beauty Pie. My eyes were Windsor. This shade of Trini's Eye to Eye Windsor suits so many skin types. The under eye is a Beauty Pie crayon. Really like this. 
This is called Obsessed. The lipstick is a lip gloss, Oh My Gloss from Rimmel, and the shade is Glossaholic. Now we've applied all my makeup, I wanted to come in close and we're going to have a look. I've already looked and can see that it is settling a little under there. And here, yeah, that didn't work, putting it on the top of my lip. That just made it difficult to put lipstick on, so I did not like that. I think what we'll do is we'll come back to camera in a few hours' time and see how it settles. I have a direct comparison from last week when I used the Tear Tear foundation without the Aquaphor and it did not settle. And today we can look how my skin will be with that and if it looks any better. From my perspective right now, I'm quite pleased with it. It's actually done quite well. I was watching Glam Girl Gabby and she was speaking very highly of this technique. And hot and flashy, not so much. It didn't work for her, she gave it a whack whack. But so far, I'm quite liking it. I didn't use the powder that Scott Barnes had suggested. So I'm going to just spray. The fixing spray that I use is e.l.f. And that works nicely, so it will dry. Because I've added the Aquaphor, it does feel a bit greasy and was why I would use the fixing spray. Ordinarily, I would just let it dry naturally, but I don't think it will. I will come back to camera. We will see how it has worn. Six hours later, let's see how this hack has done. I have been out walking the dog. That is not my dog. Okay, so my eye makeup could do with a bit of repair. But really, we're here to look at the under eye. And so not bad. Hasn't collected here. Am I pleased with the results? I have had no touch up. I've done nothing. Well, obviously, I've done put a little bit of lipstick on. But other than that, I have had nothing touched up and it hasn't collected. It hasn't caked. Now, I don't know to what degree using the Tear Tear foundation. But let's just say whatever helps to keep the makeup in place, looking crease free, fine lines and wrinkles smoothed out, I'm going to use it. So, yes, this hack has worked for me. And I think from my perspective, that was a really good hack. The product that I would ordinarily use is this one, which is Trini's Miracle Blur. And that does exactly the same as the lip balm. This is considerably more. Notwithstanding, this is a really wonderful product and I do like it and it does over and above perhaps what the lip balm can do. For the price that it was, is a really good job and I am pleased with it. So Scott Barnes, thank you. At the start of this video, I was very skeptical that this would work. I'd seen the YouTube hack and I was cynical that it would be able to do the job that a much more expensive product could do. But I have been really pleasantly surprised. I'm glad I took the time to try it. I was skeptical, I tried it and I'm really pleased. So I liked it and I hope you did too. And if you did like it, press the like button. But let me know if you have any ideas that work for you, any tips and any other hacks that you may have. I would be delighted to know and I would trial. Ding the bell will alert you to content that we're uploading like this every single week. And while you're at it, subscribe. Because when you subscribe, it lets the algorithm know that we're doing something right on here. And if you've made it this far, I want to thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning, weekend, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Scott Barnes, professional makeup artist who has clients like JLo and Scott Barnes, has recently... JLo and Scott Barnes, he is <laughs> Scott Barnes. He was using... For lip balm, under eye and on the nasal labial folds. <laughs> Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning viewer, it's good to have you back. Got a cheer, Kim. Don't make me laugh.